What's going on, Lego Maniacs? It's Ty, the Lego guy here, and welcome to another Lego Stars comparison. Today, we're taking a look at the Tri Fighter. The first one being the 7252. It had 148 pieces, one minifig retailed for 15 US, and it came out in 2005. And we'll also take a look at the 75044. It had 262 pieces, four minifigs, came out in 2014, and it retailed for 30 US. This one's interesting just because we're gonna kind of see how Legos changed over the years, and we will kind of get into which one's better, but more so than anything, this is just to show kind of what it was like back in 2005, what it was like in 2014, and hopefully we get a Tri Fighter sometime soon. But enough talk, let's get right into it. And to start us off, we'll begin with the 2005. Give you guys a 360 view. I love the color of this Tri-Fighter. It is so nostalgic and it's actually quite accurate to what we see in the actual movie. I love the amount of detail with the stickers. As much as we're not sticker people, the stickers look quite nice on it. Very separatist E, which is what you want because it is a separatist ship. Now, the first thing that I want to talk about is just lifting it up. This is kind of where you keep the buzz droid in this little capsule. So I thought that was cool. You can't shoot it out or anything. There's not really any play features to this Tri Fighter, but it's nice that you can fit one in there. The other thing about this fighter is the engines. They really look quite nice. I mean, this would be a cool set to maybe light up a little bit. And then the front of it actually has kind of like the droid eyes, those little red pieces, which is interesting. And this right here is a printed piece. All in all, I do quite like this Tri Fighter. It is old. I mean, it's a, it's 2005, but it gets the job done. It definitely is passable and I love the color of it. Maybe could have included a couple minifigs, but for what it is, it works. Now what we're going to do is take a look at the 2014. And to start us off, We'll begin by giving you guys a 360 view of the 2014 model as well. This one actually is quite a bit bigger than the 2005. We'll find that as we when we get to the comparison portion of the video. Quite detailed. This is actually very, very accurate to the way it looks in the movie. But I will say that I think the color, the color for the 2005 is actually a bit more accurate. But all in all, this is still quite close to what we should get. As you can see, it has those nice little eyes on the side, or on, in the front, I should say. And I actually think they look a little bit better than the 2005s. It also has some nice printing for the, uh, uh, it's, it's not a window piece. I mean, it technically is, but it's supposed to be kind of where all the buzz droids are kept. This one can only fit one, just like the 2005, and how you kind of access him is literally it's identical. Bang. It, there's no, nothing, there's no, you can't shoot them off or anything, but it does work. And it also has a spring-loaded shooter on the bottom. So there is some playability to this. If you're a kid, just to show you guys the underbelly of the uh, ship, that's kind of what it looks like. Just more stickers and whatnot. And let's actually show you guys the engines. Big sucker for engines, and this one's very similar to the older one. Good job, I'd love to uh, light this up just like the 2005. I mean, imagine if you had the engines lit up, the blasters lit up, the eyes lit up. That would look so good. Low key, this is a low key great set to light up, and I don't think there's any light kits for it. Anyways, that's the 2014 Tri-Fighter. Let's now compare the 2005 and this one side by side. Here we have the two Tri-Fighters and this is actually back to back so you guys can really see the size difference between the two. I was shocked to find out how much bigger the 2014 is than the 2005. In fact, let's just put them upright. That is phenomenal, like <laughs> it's 50% bigger. I thought it was more closer to the 2005 size but it is definitely not. 
I will say, however, that the 2005, its color is a little bit more accurate to what we see in the movie, like we've been saying. And I actually think that neither of them are the correct size if you're comparing it to a minifig. I think that somewhere in between the two would be the perfect size. The 2014, again, is far more detailed. It just, uh, it just looks a little bit more fleshed out than the 2005, but the 2005 is not a bad model. It's just not quite as good as the 2014. Give you guys a couple more angles just to kind of compare them. They're both good looking. It's just, I, I think that the 2014 design is a little bit more, a little bit more accurate, but if we gave it the color of the 2005, I think it would be absolutely perfect. Uh, just maybe cut the size down maybe by 20%. And here we have the two Buzz Droids that are from either of the Tri-Fighters. The one on the left is from 2005, and the one on the right is from 2014. Give you guys a 360 view of them. As you can see, they're very different. Obviously, the one from 2014 is much more accurate. I mean, the 2005 one uses Battle Droid legs, so that should tell you something. The overall head, though, is pretty well the same. Like... They still both use these printed pieces for kind of like, uh, that's where the buzz kind of comes out of this little capsule. And the lights as well are very similar. The saws are even somewhat similar. It's just, again, the legs are far better on the 2014. But all in all, you can tell what the 2005 one is. It's just is a little bit more, a little bit more basic and OG with those battle droid legs. Let's now take a look at the final minifigs that are included in the 2014 model. And here we have them. So we have a typical battle droid on the far left. We got Chancellor Palpatine, my favorite minifig out of the 2014. And we have a security battle droid. You guys, a 360 view of them. I love the security battle droid as well. I love all his printing. They didn't have to do that, but they did it. The, some of the other models, they've just given us a red torso. This one they actually give us a little bit of detail, which I do quite like. And let's just actually show off Palpatine's back face. More calm. And he has some nice back torso printing as well. This is what I mean, like, there's even printing on the battle droid's head. So, I'm a sucker for detail, and that battle droid definitely has it. And then we have Sheev Palpatine's normal face, which is maybe when he says, do it. But all in all, I love the figs that are included in the 2014 model. Let's now get into the end of the review and get my final thoughts. Well guys, that was my comparison. Do hope you enjoyed it. Both these sets have their warrants. I have to say that the newer one definitely has a better selection of minifigs. I mean, you get four awesome ones. You get Chancellor Palpatine in his gray suit, the only time we've ever got this minifig. But the older one still has, you know, things going for it. It has that nostalgic kind of sand blue, which I do believe is actually a little bit more accurately colored than, you know, gray and dark blue. I think that the color scheme is a little bit better on this one. The overall design is, act is definitely better in the newer one. However, it is a little oversized. I think that the correct size is a little bit more towards the 2005. All in all, these are both good models. It's just, uh, maybe if they mix the two of these, we'd have the perfect Tri-Fighter. Perfectly sized, because it's probably a bit bigger than this one, a bit smaller than this one, and the color scheme would be accurate, although the design overall would look more like the 2014. Not that the 2005 is bad, just the 2014, I think, is just a little bit better, especially looking at, you know, some of those pictures. Uh, but let me know what you guys' thoughts are on this one, which one's your favorite, uh, any areas you think they could maybe improve on them, and if you're actually waiting for a new Tri-Fighter like myself. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got for today, but if you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing, and click that bell so you're notified for any future LEGO Star Wars reviews, comparisons uh, that we do. We basically do something Star Wars related every Tuesday. And uh, yeah, I really enjoy doing it. But yeah, that's all I got for you again. But thanks again for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one.